The UI is definitely a little more prominent here too. You've got the classic health hearts and the text is bigger at the bottom of the screen. We have like actual proper cutscenes yeah. now, it's like more of a narrative. Sure, look at those models for the lounge chairs. They look nice. See, here's music. Yeah, this is the classic music. I know this, I haven't even played the game. Hi, I'm Eva. I've been a general indie game developer for about six years now and soon to be area designer. Hi, I'm Noah. I'm a technical designer. I've been in games for about seven years now. I've worked at Telltale and I've worked on games such as Solar Ash and most recently Call of Duty Warzone. And today on Experts React, we're taking a look at the evolution of the Grand Theft Auto series. Specifically the design. All right, let's drive right into it. Have you ever even seen this before? I've never even watched the original Grand Theft Auto. I had no idea. I didn't know it was top down. I had no idea. For this sure. is crazy. Looks like an indie game today. Yeah, or an arcade game. Yeah, really. It might have been, honestly. Honestly, what, sure. what was this even for, do you think? Arcades. Yeah, was it? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I know that the PlayStation was at least out the year after. You know, Spyro came out in 1998. Is that right? Spyro looks a lot better than this. And Ocarina of Time. Also looks a lot better than this. I guess you can't yeah, really Yeah, well, I wonder, them. is this like 3D or is this just 2D sprites? Sure. Because it could be, it, since it's top down. This camera work is wild. I feel like to some extent you have to balance the camera work with, you know, while you're driving so that you can see ahead of you, but it's moving around so much that I feel like I would get vertigo sure. if I were playing this for an extended period of time. Yeah, no, Absolutely, it's weird that the car is always sort of centered like that. They're doing a little rubber banding thing, which I think is smart, but man, the screen it's is just lot. wobbling all over. <laughs> a lot of shake, yeah. I think you're right that the um, the car and the people are all sprites. It looks like the buildings, 3D objects, and they're mm -hmm. textured. And got the bridges. It's definitely an off-putting effect today. I think it works for this, actually. I mean, sure. this is, you know, a fairly old game, and but you're still able to, you know, tell where you are. Again, the camera is going over, like, the roofs rather than the road. Sure. Yeah, I mean, it's sort of charming, too, just kind of seeing these, like, early graphics like this. So you, you get you get points whenever you hit people. I guess so. Has stayed since the uh, modern games as well. Sure. I'm not sure what the point of the game is, like, what the goal moment to moment is if you're just driving around causing chaos, which, again, is yeah, still could the be case fun. in modern games, but you also have, like, objectives. I'm seeing some, oh, well, oh, okay. there you go. There you so go. That, that was a mission. Okay, so the, the UI at the top is, sure. is saying. Maybe not clear to us, but I see there's like text on the mm -hmm. bottom of the screen too. It seems yeah. like they're talking about what you're supposed to do. We're too used to modern signage. We're so not. spoiled, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. Central Law Island, so they have the locations and whatnot. So I see that we, cool. for the UI, you have like a gun. It looks like armor or something mm. underneath it. You got your money. The font is still, like feels like it's a GTA font. I see that, yeah. It's, it's very cool. This game seems to uh, lean a lot more into the driving, or at least that's what we're seeing right now. Mm -hmm. I know modern GTA games, you're doing a lot more outside of the car as well. Yeah, with like dialogue and sure. different events that happen. Here it's seeming like the missions are just all kind of car based. Yeah, it's pretty simple. It's interesting. I don't know if there's like the police chases or at all. It's just, sure. it's very simplified. Yeah, I'd love to give it a try. Game. It'd be very cool to play. For all these games, it's it's hard to actually get a true sense of what they're like without playing them oh, yourself. Oh, totally, yeah. Yeah. No idea what, what snippets we're even seeing, honestly. Mm -hmm. Like what's going on with the game, the context, and then just the feel for it. Like all we have is a video. So no, totally. Definitely Pacing grain so of salt important, with yeah. everything. Still top down, but we got a lot. We got more UI. We have those subtitles, more dialogue. Look at the resolution on the textures. Oh yeah, for sure. Just technology has advanced. Beautiful photorealistic corner. Can't even tell the difference. This could be Google Maps. And you got more shadows, little details like that. You're so right. Didn't did, even notice that. Did the other one have skid marks? I think the other one had skid marks. Yeah. Okay, I did not notice. I like the flipping coins. It's, yeah, makes no, it stand really out cute. really well, so you can see it. The UI is definitely a little more prominent here too. You've got the classic health hearts and. The text is bigger at the bottom of the screen, kind of evolving towards that modern, like here's all the information on the screen for you. Something that I've noticed that they have not had an issue with is even though the camera is pulled out and you're seeing kind of a wide shot of it, there hasn't been any confusion on where you are or what you're doing moment to moment no, so far. No, not at all. Seen. Everything's really distinct. Which is really important for games. Like if you lose track of your character, then it's it can get really frustrating totally. really quickly. Yeah, especially these old kind of like arcade games. It's very easy for the environments to look really monotonous. I think they did a great great job of like adding landmarks and, and sort of shaping the road. I guess in that regard, my question would be like, if you are fighting with people and there's, you yeah. have you know friends rather than enemies, would you be able to tell them apart? Would you be able to damage them at all? Sure, I wonder if that's even in this game. Yeah, they have the police cars. Oh yeah, look at that. Yeah, you can steal the police cars, classic. Yeah. You got the three police symbols at the top. I'm assuming those are like the stars in the modern GTA. Mm, the UI is just coming right to your yeah. face, which is very clear. It's, it's very clear, clear very arcade still too. The previous one definitely didn't do that. It just, it had 
have smaller numbers. No, not at all. I feel like you don't need the big numbers, but it's kind of cool stylization. The world here just seems so much more interactive too. You're looking at this like mm -hmm. car chase happening and the other one, it seems like he was kind of just driving around and making things happen. Yeah. Here, the world is like reacting to what he's doing. And you're getting phone calls and whatnot. So there's yeah, just kind of cool. more content. I really like it. It's a good progression. Sure, very iterative. I'm really interested to see what the jump to 3D looks like. I think a lot of games have had to really radically reimagine what they're doing when they change. It's an entirely different way of playing. Job complete. I'm curious what the J-Lab is. What are they doing in the J-Lab? The J-Lab? What are they doing in the J-Lab? I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means either. <laughs> what city is this? I don't know. I, I have no idea. I don't know if they like reuse cities or it has to be different every time. I only know the modern ones. I want to embarrass myself by guessing at where Ukita is. They have the different arrows coming off, but so some of them just disappeared, but I'm not oh, sure what so they're pointing to. I, I mean, I'm assuming- The purple one's an objective. Yeah, I'm assuming sort, that yeah. that's the main place you got to go, but there were multiple. So it's sure. enemies, so. but there's no arrow pointing to that cop car. Yeah, I'm not sure. The missions in this game are very brief and simple still, it looks like. Mm -hmm. You get like some very atomic task, like stop the tank or, you know, bring someone to a place, maybe like a minute of gameplay, you know, in the modern GTAs. I guess we're going to see more of that, but I sort of mm -hmm. assume they're like more involved, more like story based. Yeah, definitely driven by the narrative mainly. And then like the chaos is on the side. And sure. so you can do like all the street stuff that you want to do for fun. Oh, no, totally. Not as required unless you're doing a specific mission. Marie and I have taken a little holiday together until you can- We have like actual proper cutscenes yeah. now, yeah. like more of a narrative. Sure, look at those models for the lounge chairs. They look nice. Gorgeous yeah. They really are. Ooh, okay. Yeah. Definitely like cool style. Very cool. Art. Yeah, more cutscenes. You got in-game cutscenes and yeah. rendered cutscenes. Walking around. Is the driving still top down or is it going to be 3D? Look. Looks rain. to be 3D, yeah. There's rain in this game. Particle effects. A lot of processing. Yeah. This is only cool. two years later. This is a crazy jump in tech. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. This is really nuts. They had to probably remake this entire thing from the ground up. You know, yeah, water driving, different kinds of vehicles. We haven't even mentioned the UI yet. It's all shoved into a corner now. I don't think I like it shoved into a corner though, because it's hard to tell like what's what exactly. It's a little cramped, but all the text is much bigger, which is nice. That's true. It took me a moment to realize that was a dollar sure. sign instead of an S. Sure. <laughs> and then there's blue on blue, which is not, sure. not great. Sure, questionable maybe. Uh, yeah. Put a little something in the background there. It's not the worst I've seen. They were being too nitpicky. Yeah, well, this one, like, already just because of the camera angle, because of the, the fact that you can run around like that and see your character already feels so immersive. Yeah, it that feels so much more ones. modern. This is a game that, you know, a gamer who's maybe just played the recent Grand Theft Autos could pick up and, and sort of understand what's going on. Yeah, I'm not sure where the objectives are showing up again. Sure, same. Yeah, I'm not sure if he even has, like, a yeah, current mission. If he does get a mission, is there an arrow or is, mm -hmm. there, is there a waypoint that you can follow? Like, does it guide you through the streets or is it just one point that you have to kind of to figure out how to get to. Yeah, good question. He just hit a civilian and didn't get any uh, score pop up. I guess mm. score is totally replaced by money now. How do you find this phone? Yeah, I'm not sure. Interested in how the navigation works. Is that blue dot on the map some sort of an indicator? I can't really tell. Ooh. Oh, well, hey, look at that. Okay, okay, multiple modes. I think the modern ones also have multiple modes, but they're a lot harder to get around in. Interesting. You know, this is definitely a, a choice for them to play in that sure. mode. Demoing for us what you can do with it. Yeah. This is really cool. We have the, the modern star system now. Now we're seeing uh, two stars and the cops are occasionally mm -hmm. coming mm -hmm. after him. So we're st you know, sticking with like narrative and missions and stuff. Change the color scheme to match the new setting, but uh, graphically it looks almost identical. Oh, you're right. You're right. That's actually really clever, the color scheme. I like this a lot. It's That's very fun. cute. Leaning into like the 90s neon thing. Just custom animations. <laughs> and of course, this was only the year after, so the graphics are still sure, identical, basically, basically the same. Yeah. Maybe the cars look nicer. Maybe I'm imagining that. <sighs> Maybe. Maybe they worked hard on like your special car. Uh, you can see there's not really like reflection of any type on the cars, though. They're all kind of just matte with what looks like a little like texture grading to sort of imply that they're metallic. Yeah. Well, that's, you know, part of the time. The mini map's more detailed. Oh, you're right. Look at that. We've got like buildings and whatnot rather than just gray. This came out a year later, so I assume they were uh, making this during the development for Grand Theft Auto 3, probably I, multiple teams working. Yeah, I would hope so. Yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, it's a very sure. fast No, of course. It's interesting to see like if they made some custom tech that kind of just got used on this one, not the other. Mm. I think a lot of the time people underestimate how long it takes to oh make a game I'm without sure. doing crunch, you know, without overworking Even everyone. with over. I know, I know we've all been there. So for this particular mission, it's not a certain location you're trying to get to, you're just following Chasing this the car. car yeah. And you're still curious in how people navigate around. 
The sound design's not too bad, but there is definitely like a kind of a monotonous uh, of the yeah, color. Yeah, a little bit irritating. Ah! Which I'm, I'm assuming that's just going to improve as you know, technology improves sure. and whatnot. Yeah, I bet. Is that a UFO? Huh? That's a UFO. <laughs> that's fun. I like oh. that. They have flying. They're introducing other vehicles nice. already by my city. That's awesome. I didn't know that. I know in the modern GTAs, you know, there's, there's all sorts of things you can drive around in. You got mm -hmm. motorcycles, cars, trucks. And they all require different systems, like sure. especially flying. Oh, absolutely. You got those camera angles again. Again, I feel like these are just flavor because I, I feel like sure. it's just, it would be harder to use oh, that camera oh, angle. Not bad. This is cool though. The lighting here kind of adds to that same uh, 90s neon aesthetic. Yeah. It's really pretty. The good atmosphere. Really good job. Giving us that. a little glamour shot. I feel like GTA has always done a good job with environment and atmosphere. I think so too. Photos taken. Mm. So they got fun, different kinds of missions. Yeah, missions that aren't just like go to a place or yeah. kill a guy. I think that's super important in games. I think so too. Mission variety, just so it doesn't get stale. Absolutely. I'm wondering, you know, how many angles you have to complete missions. Like, you're supposed to sneak into the hotel. Can you fly the helicopter up to the top and drop in? Yeah. I know in modern open world games, um, you know, some of the most beloved ones, like Metal Gear 5, what people really love is that you have all these options for, for how to tackle them. Mm -hmm. The suits, everyone's game style. Yeah. That's a good point. I, mean, I feel like they could totally do that with with these different systems they have the tool set sure. it's just a matter of did the d designers at the time of when this was made think about that yeah absolutely no, i mean we we've had you know 20 years since then to, to kind of iterate on what is an open world game mm -hmm. it's cool to see how far it's gone definitely a long way Already the people are looking so much better. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at those like body animations. They're looking better. <laughs> They're looking better, the faces. <laughs> oh, it's charming. Very charming. So definitely, you know, still sticking with the narrative as sure. modern games are, all of them are gonna be like that. I love all these characters. I don't even know them and I love them. I think people have always kind of liked the um, sort of like everyman characters of Grand Theft Auto. Games. Yeah, definitely. Now they're not afraid to be gritty. I think the UI here has a very strong, bold, Order. Yeah, I like it a lot. The outlining kind of fixes the problem with the blue on blue <laughs> exactly. from before. The text yeah. is very clear on the bottom of the screen now. I'm not sure what the numbers underneath the gun are. Sure. Is that the type of gun? I or assume it's ammo. I... Normally you would think it was ammo, yeah, but... Yeah, probably, you know, total ammo and ammo in the clip, I have mm, to guess. A lot, a lot of, of shooter. It's a lot of ammo. It's a lot of ammo. <laughs> yeah, it's got a whole car full. The minimap has the icons now. I, don't, I didn't notice if the one before yeah, had those icons. I wasn't paying enough attention. But it also has the bold border, which makes it feel very chunky. Yeah. Which I actually don't like as much. Just mm. Miami. Look at all the textures on the maps now. It, it feels much more distinct than before. It's not just kind of like city and, you know, different part of city. Now you've got these oil fields and, you know, this airfield. Different graphical effects when you go to a different place. It's cool. Yeah, yeah. I like the fog. I'm still stuck on that mini map. I, I feel like they mm. went backwards a little bit. I think you're right. But I'm sure it'll get better. <sighs> Those old cloud textures. Yeah. Oh my God. It warms help. my heart. Ring hey. flying. It's like a Sonic Classic. the Hedgehog mini game. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you can parachute out. That makes sense. That's cool. It's definitely this feels like it's it's really starting to play with different options of what you can do. Oh, yeah, totally. I guess yeah, that red marker awesome. is a map objective. Much more clear now, having it kind of marked out in the world like that. Yeah, where you just have to kind of drive and see it. I think it's always good to mitigate confusion. Sure. It's a tough balancing act. You want people to explore and, you know, find things in the world without just being told exactly mm -hmm. where. But, but so if they get frustrated, then it's... Exactly. I'm not really hearing any music in the gameplay. No, not at all. I wonder if modern games have the music or if they just don't, and I didn't notice that. Here, I, you know, all I can hear is ocean, so... That font definitely has a personality, but it is harder to read. It's okay to do that if that's your choice, as long as you're aware of that. I think they're just doing that for like the location, so it shouldn't be too serious. Mm -hmm. It's really chunky models, but they're a lot more expressive now. You're seeing like these towers that kind of hint at being rounded. We got like terrain that is, you know, legitimately kind of wavy. A lot of variety from the sort of stark cubes of the city. Mm -hmm. Booming too. So here's music. Yeah. This is the classic music. I know this, I haven't even played the game. So is that just like mission complete music? I guess so. I like that. It's yeah, funky. I like it too. Ooh, yeah, like definitely that. jump in graphics. Actually have shapes instead yeah, of just Yeah, like articulated face. fingers, <laughs> different body types. Crazy to think this is only two console generations ago. It looks, you know, miles ahead of the last game, but, um, you know, just sort of nuts how fast things have changed in the mm -hmm. last 10 years. I know people kind of think graphics and, and tech is slowing down, and it definitely is, but... Um, but it's because it came so yeah, fast. It's, like it's it came so far. It's speed up forever. This is cute now that the, um, the, the sort of mission descriptions here are, are diegetic enough that your character's actually talking on the phone. Mm -hmm. That's really cute. And the UI has the phone too. I, I like that, that a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Minimap looks better in this one. It looks nice. Yeah. A little less colorful, but it's clear. Yeah. Less chunky, yeah. 
internet cafe. Internet you got a lot cafe. of just like interesting buildings throughout the world. I yeah, like that. All these kind of like unique interiors you weren't seeing in the other ones. Mm -hmm. Lots to explore. This is Different cute too. Yeah. yeah, it's delightful. Very good. Oh, it's great. They know why people are playing these games. Do you have to go to an internet cafe in order to access the internet in this one? I don't know. Yeah, right? Based on the era? You can't do it on your phone, probably. That's fun. That was, so it was nighttime a moment ago, so we got day-night cycles, it mm, looks like. Yeah, it looks like it. Look how uh, long the drive distance is here. They're not including mm. stuff with big buildings and mountains like in the other one. Here you can really yeah. just see the city stretching out. It looks nice. I saw a moment ago the different car angles. It is interesting, though, because I, I like I said, I feel like it's not super useful. It makes it harder to drive, but it, it is, also takes yeah. up a whole button, which means that they decided to keep that feature, which felt iconic to GTA, I suppose, sure. while not giving you another mechanic that you can use. I think a lot of the driving in this game is just Maybe about the flashiness, you know, about feeling like you're doing cool stuff and having the ability to sort of look at that from another angle. Mm -hmm. You know, maybe they thought that was important enough. Look how subtle the upper right UI is now. The gun appeared very briefly and now it's gone. Oh. There's no money counter, there's no health counter if you're not in combat. It's a really good point. It makes it look very sleek. Yeah. So I guess it would only go up, yeah, sure. like you said, if you're in combat. I like it. A lot cleaner overall. If I were to make a driving game, I feel like I would want to do more mechanic-based mapping to the buttons mm -hmm. rather than just those camera angles. Sure. But that makes sense. As someone who hasn't played GTA for years and years sure. and years, then it, it doesn't seem as important. But I guess, you know, that's more part of the job of a designer is to determine what is important enough to keep and how do you make all the mechanics work together. Yeah, that's got to be tough. Is she trying to take the wheel? Yeah, this is cool how they, they play with like the iconic driving by reducing your control over. Yeah, I like that a lot actually, it's really yeah. clever. Gives it the mission a lot of variation even though it is just another drive to this place. Yeah, mission. that's cool. Yeah, it gives it life. And I see on the map you have that line leading mm -hmm. where you need to go. It's really just directing you straight there. Mm -hmm. To me, that might even be a little bit too clear. See, I like that. Sure. I, I like knowing where I need to go. Mm -hmm. If you miss the one, you know, voice line or whatever that sure. where they tell you where to go. Totally or just you don't depends know where that on the player, is. yeah. Never gonna win everybody, you know. Even 2013, it looks pretty dated. It looks kind of dated, but it's also a little bit stylized. Mm -hmm. I think that that actually worked. Like, oh, I, think I think that the way right. that they decided to stylize it doesn't make it look old or bad at all. No, I like it too. It's almost a little bit cartoony. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out what to compare it to. Like, maybe kind of Borderlands, but they don't have that, like, as much cartoonishness. Sure. Maybe, like, Clone Wars, like, yeah. but a little bit more realistic than that. Faces are really well articulated. See some emotion now. Like, I think it looks good, even though it is 2013. Same sense of humor. They definitely kept the art of GTA yeah, oh, the same so. throughout the years. As much as we know Take what a heart of a will. GTA is, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and all the detail in this interior space, all the textures, mm -hmm. the light switches, the signs. And handheld camera, it looks like. Like really dynamic yeah. cinematography. It's really nice. I do like that. It makes it really immersive. Look at the lighting here, really dynamic shadows. Oh yeah. We're seeing some reflectiveness. Ooh, the minimap has an angle now. Mm, I like that. That's cool. You can see a lot easier like what is ahead of you. I like that too. Get the phone from GTA 4. That's the cell phone now. The minimap's a rectangle too, which doesn't cut off the corners that a circle mm -hmm. would. It looks very clean. And again, the, the only UI that is here is your location as well as your money. I like that they're keeping the diversity in location here. We get the big city and kind of like the outskirts here. Lots of cutscenes, yeah. one straight to another. Because they definitely leaned, as the years went on, they leaned more and more into just a narrative-based game Sounds with like the fun sure. and driving and running people over as a as side content. Gotta keep that in. In the other games, did we see shooting missions like this, or were they all driving based? Oh no, we saw some shooting, but um, nothing like this. There's like this aim down sights, kind of cover shooter stuff. Yeah, definitely like modern The fact shooting. that he can like duck behind the window. Mm -hmm. It's definitely a core system that they've implemented, and I'm, being more familiar with this game, I know that totally. they have a really good balance of using all the systems to their advantage. That's really cool. As that truck was driving by, you could really see the lighting on it. I'm just harping on the lighting a lot. But it's pretty. It's pretty, and it's sort of just a sign of the times, you know, yeah, like lighting time. tech really indicates like how far graphics have come. Can you can you spare the bandwidth on it? And a moment ago, they had UI in the top corner that had a kind of tutorial thing. Mm. I don't like it when games have something that you have to read while you're like doing action, trying to focus on a mission because sure. it's so easy to just miss them and then oh, you don't totally. get that piece of tutorial. I don't like that either. Oh. 
it's still very um, kind of like overblown and cartoony, but in sort of a different way now, where instead of, you know, running over a hundred people in a row in the street, you're just blowing up tank yeah. cars with a grenade launcher. Mm -hmm. Same sort of um, just crazy over the top energy. That chaotic appeal. Yeah. And how, you know, people are just riddling you with oh, totally. and it does nothing. Totally, totally. <laughs> Like sort of a subtle uh, bullet time there too. Mm -hmm. Well, I know that they all had their different abilities, mm. which is yet another system that they've layered into the game. That's cool. It's clearly made with a lot of love. I think so too. Some people really, really like hyper-realistic games, but I feel like mm -hmm. it's okay to choose a style. That's why you're a good dev and I'm bad dev. <laughs> I like stylized games. It's okay to make a design decision and be like, I want the art direction to go like this. I like that the cars and the windows have like uh, retained the damage from the gunfight. Respect. Respect UX UI. That was super cool. I think yeah. it's really interesting looking at any old games and then modern games, but to just see a series evolve like that over the years. It was, you know, started so long ago. The game was so different and yet there is so much of it that has lasted and sure. stayed the same. And it's interesting to see what people find important in franchises like yeah, that. Yeah, that's really interesting. Stood the test of time. I wonder how many gamers were there playing Grand Theft Auto 1 and still playing Grand Theft Auto 5 today. Yeah, I want to know what they think. Yeah, leave it in the comments. For more videos like this, check out Gameology on Facebook and YouTube. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye. Stay hydrated. See, See you in, in the, the next, next one. one. The experts react. Uh, what else do I say? Uh, Am I allowed to say that? Yes. Leave it in the comments. Don't, don't do crimes, guys. Don't do crimes, kids. Some crimes are good. I'm not allowed to say that, am I? <laughs>